Hey, good morning. Cold Case Cause here. Also, Hetty Eddy Survival is my new channel. It's a survivalist channel. But I wanted to come live this morning, show you all my place, my cabin out here. And I am way out in the boondocks. And the sun has just came up. And guess what? Overnight, we have received all this snow. So I kind of wanted to come live and do a... Uh, like a survivalist video because um, getting this much snow overnight can be detrimental to your uh, life. <clears throat> so we were only supposed to get a couple inches last night. And uh, as you can see, I'm going to show you over here. But this is my little cabin out here. Luckily, I have enough provisions for a month because all the roads are jammed up. And uh, I've been watching, I've been watching the news and um Mancus Hill there's a big car accident all the roads are getting cleaned up so every, there's traffic jams all over the place but we're supposed you know out here in the Mesa I'm down by New Mexico we're not supposed to get a ton of snow usually but look at this y'all that's five inches at least of snow and uh so this is just like a survival video I wanted to come live in case you know, maybe you're on vac you go on vacation or you're camping in the back country with your family, and you know you just see on the radar a little storm coming through. Through oh, it's going to be, you know, just a, a snow flurry or a few inches of snow. You can't always trust the. Um, just want to make sure this is working. You can't always trust the Weather Channel because stuff like this happens. So I mean, literally yesterday when I went to bed, yesterday evening, none of this was here. This all came overnight. And um, look how pretty it is out here. I just want to show you all around. But summer is gone and winter instantly came overnight. Luckily, I got my snowmobile here. But I just want to show you all the love, Shaq. You know, that's from um, B-52's Cosmic Thing. You know, they were out of Georgia. And it reminds me of the love shack in Georgia that they made that video about back in the day that hit song love shack but uh that's what it reminded me of anyway you know i'm from alabama so i got a it's like a proper alabama cabin right there that i built but um yeah man we got hammered with snow so i'm out here shoveling snow this morning i'm gonna let it you know it's gonna be a couple of days before i'm able to drive out of here so you get you <clears throat> you think oh that's not that much snow but what hasn't happened yet is the winds, and that's what people don't uh, equate into the uh, into their vacation is the winds. So tonight we're going to get howling winds, and what happens is this little five inches of snow gets blown through these meadows and these pastures, and it all catches in the roads and then drives out. The roads acts as like a catch basin for all the snow in the blizzard. So that's what you don't count on. So you say, oh, I got a, a vehicle, four-wheel drive. I got a big truck with big muddy tires. I can, you know, I got four-wheel drive. I can do it. But what you don't count on, if you go go to sleep at night and these winds start howling, they pick up 30-mile-per-hour blizzard-like winds, it blows all that fresh snow down into the um, drives and the roads. And and you don't count on that when you're out in the back country. And I've literally gotten four inches of snow and been like, I got this and go to drive to town. And there's five foot of snow in the road, five foot for like miles, five foot of snow. And you're literally trapped. And uh, it's scary and if you've never been a part of it. And I just want to kind of throw that out there as a survival tip. Don't ever just watch the news and trust the news and say, oh, they said it's only going to be a couple inches of snow. And say, oh, we got this, you know, you're with your family and you want to risk, you know, be camping out in the back country. Because a lot of times these snow plows and stuff, they get so backed up. Like right now, no one's ever, like, I'm, I live 10 miles out on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere. So I have to literally wait for Mother Nature to melt the snow down. And then it freezes. And if I leave early in the morning, the road is frozen. <clears throat> and uh, I can drive over it, but I have to be back before like 9 or 10 because then it gets soft and everything turns into like a mud hole out here so i just wanted to <clears throat> throw out there a little survivalist tip a heat of warning when it comes to snow don't ever gamble when it comes to snowstorms never gamble 
if you're out west or eat, you know, wherever you live, where, where it snows a lot, because it can swallow you up and it can be a life-threatening situa situation very quickly. Um, you get swallowed up in a blizzard and then you get your car stuck and it's like a domino effect. Your vehicle gets stuck and then you're out there overnight. You run out of gas, you know, you know how it goes. And a lot of people have like tried to sleep through their night in their vehicles. And what you don't count on is all that snow building up around your exhaust pipe and then it pumps back into your vehicle and while you're sleeping. So a lot of people have um, perished sleeping in their vehicle with it running in a blizzard. And, you, you know, these are things you don't think about. You're like, oh, we'll just sleep it out in the vehicle with it running. And you don't count on the blizzard blowing it up, uh, packing around uh, the exhaust pipe and making the fumes come back in the vehicle. These are just little tips, man. Mother Nature, you never gamble with Mother Nature. Um, she can, I found out out here, she can be a fickle beast and she'll swallow you up if you're not prepared. So, <clears throat> but I just want to come live. This morning, the sun is shining. Look how beautiful it is, even though, you know, the older I get, the more I don't like the snow. But it is a beautiful morning here on the Mesa. And like I said, I'm right near the border of New Mexico. And, uh, man, we got hammered with snow hard. And it's this big, wet cat California snow. So it's going to be a sloppy mess to get out of here. You can see this morning I started snow shoveling. I got a long way to shovel to get out to the road. So I'm just going to let it melt. I got enough provisions and dog food and everything for the dogs for about a month. So, But I just want to show you all the cabin and the place and let you all know. You know, go and watch my short videos of the campfire that I had with the clouds in the background and the sunset. That was literally how it was last night. And then instantly overnight the blizzard rolled in. So, but... Blessings to everybody, and thank you for the kind comments, and I just wanted to give an update. This is also an update episode. <clears throat> so, I have been trying to call Colorado Bureau of Investigation about the San, uh, Suzanne Morphew, the um, area where we found the bed sheet and the firearm, and I haven't heard anything back. They won't tell me, so I they won't tell me no. I, felt, I feel like if it was nothing, they would be like, no, it's nothing quit bothering us, yada, yada, yada. Because I've been calling, leaving messages on the Suzanne Morphew tip line, um, the Colorado Bureau of Inve Investigation Forensics Lab. Um, they're all their numbers. I've been calling and trying to get someone to call me back, but no one will uh, get back to me. But I feel like if it was nothing, they'd be like, "It's no it has nothing to do. Uh, leave us alone. Stop calling us. I mean, it's nothing. So, But all they just... Uh, you know, it's a runaround. They say, oh, you have to talk to Saguach Sheriff. And then Sheriff says, oh, you got to talk to Colorado Bureau of Inv Investigation. So they got me running around in circles about it. But I'm going to make a video this week. Um, the beginning of the week, I'm going to call up and I'm going to record it. So you guys can hear kind of the runaround they give me. So you know I'm not fibbing and you can hear what they say about it. Um, so... Hopefully we can get some answers with that soon and provide some evidence and hopefully a new case is tried. But just waiting on pins and needles still. Um, but I just wanted to say thanks a lot and please like and subscribe. And um, I will be in touch and thank you for all the kind words and blessings about Kaga. Poor Zoom has been running around all over the all over here looking for Kaga and she's like I have their beds in there and they refused to sleep where Kaga slept on her section of the bed. And so it's, it's been a little hard, but I need to t toughen up and these things happen. You know, when you live way out in the country like this, you know, the dogs, the dogs are all I have. <clears throat> so, um, they really become family. I talk to them like human beings, you know, <laughs> I do. If, if you guys could hear me talk to the dogs, you'd think I'm nuts, but. Sometimes you got to do stuff like that when you're way out in the back country just to stay grounded, you know. But I got some searches coming up. And I wanted to tell you to stay tuned. Um, hope as soon as the snow melts on Wolf Creek Pass, I'm hoping to get up there. Um, and uh, it's going to be a surprise, so you want to stay tuned. But I, I, I think this snow is going to melt, and then it's going to be dry for a little while because we usually don't. The snow doesn't start sticking until mid December. 
So I'm hoping this snow will mill, and this is a great time to look for stuff because all the green is gone. And if you can get to a forest, all from this snow, everything will be laid down and kind of compacted all the dead greenery and foliage. So, I mean, anything on the ground sticks out like a sore thumb. And uh, we got some tips. We've been working with some people, and I got some tips coming. Um, and so we're going to have some searches coming up soon. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe and stay tuned. And uh, we're going to be going hard at this as, as long as I can hustle up enough money that we're going to be going hard on this all winter. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. I want to show you again this beautiful sun.